it looks like our first player, Live Forever. He is at the left position on the August <laughs> The Korean announcer announces someone else, but I think that we don't have that screen anymore. Yeah, we need to confirm that. It looks like they changed something in the production. Uh, didn't tell us that we're yeah. actually... Uh, it's a possibility. That we're going to have to get in that animation anymore or something. August Wera over here at the 6 o'clock position. Very close by air. Could make some Banshee play a little bit better. The drop play, certainly. But they're both going to know that. So Yeah. Yeah. Well, we could see a similar game to what we saw before. Both these guys close by air. Mm. Maybe they're gonna both going to go for those Marine drops again. You know, surprising to see exactly the same build. There's several usable builds right now to open with in TBT. But both of them using exactly the same. Pretty cool. Yeah. Very uh, similar styles, but... Next Live Forever, just he's so aggressive on taking bases, getting his economy up. And at the end of the day, you know, August Ware made some great, great moves, but he was out of minerals, you know? He just, he was mined out. That was it. Yeah, I thought he was going to win for a second, and then it was pointed out to me that he's actually not getting any cash. He was dry, man. He was drier than the Sahara Desert. That's so dry. That place has more than 28 minerals. <laughs> Uh, both scouting, it does look like our Green Terran is going to get in there first. Our Sorry, Green man. Terran live forever. Live forever. Moving right in. And uh, I don't think we'll see a lot of deviation in the opening build orders. Not at least until we get up to the starport area. I think, you know, I, I don't think in these positions they're going to want to go bionic. It's just, it's so far away. Any sort of higher tech is going to, you know, be out in time to stop that. Banshee play going to be so nice to punish someone that tries to run around the entire map with Bionic in these positions. Closer positions, I think it's a much better choice. Well, unfortunately, um, our Red Terran is not going to be able to uh, get much scouting done. This barracks is done. Marine's on the way. He's going to be in the dark, basically. Throw that production tab up. Very, very similar play. We and he has out. to back off. Yep. Check out some APM here. Both very fast players. Uh, August Wera showing a little bit more APM right now. It's kind of interesting to see what people do in the early games. And uh, factories going up. As you can see, it's just pretty much a mirrored uh, situation. Um, I'm yeah. kind of waiting to see what the deviation is going to be. That's right. I mean, you know, it is uh, good old TVT. A little bit slow in the early game, a little bit slow in the late game. It's the mid-game, the meat and potatoes. That's when stuff starts to get crazy. Uh, I know, man. Totally cray-cray. That's when you get all excited and wiggly and jiggly and see if these little rush attacks are going to work. I have to say, Artosis, you did get me hooked on the word wiggly. Or wiggly, wiggle. Man. Wiggle. Yeah. It's like such a fun word. It's just a good and word. It's just fun to wiggle, man. I just love to wiggle. I'm wiggling <laughs> all over the place, man. <laughs> We just have the um, reactor here on the barracks. Are we seeing that over here? Nope. Tech lab. Definitely a deviation, a fork in the road. And I, I wonder. Oh, he's making some marines uh, out of that uh, reactor to barracks. Sorry. And a starport almost done. He may want to jump into reactor Vikings. Who knows? But making a lot of marines right now. No hellions. So it makes me think there's not going to be an attack. A lot of people love marine hellion attacks. Yeah, Marine Hellion attacks can be great because you can actually knock down their entrance and just get in there. And, Take a uh, look over here. Yeah. Mm, tech tech lab. lab. I smell Banshee. Ah, uh, yeah, man. He's going to go Marine Banshee, it looks like. And that's just like a good build in every matchup. The Marines protect the Banshees, and the Banshees own everything. And then the Marines own everything, too. No, he's got to get a Raven. I hate oh, it when okay. people do this and make us look like we're bad at I our know. jobs. <laughs> I know, man. He's like, I mean, no. We thought he was going to get a Banshee. It's pretty common, but he's going to go for a Raven first. Now, yep. now, now, what's good about the Raven... It's good against Banshee builds, for sure. Yeah, no kidding. Here comes the Marine drop. A lot of Marines versus some Marines and a medevac. Is he ready? Is he ready? Is he ready? <laughs> uh, I don't know how effective this is going to be. It is delaying the mule from mining. Yeah, you know, it does hurt his economy a little bit, you know. He only lost one Marine. That was great. Killed an SUV, lost a Marine, and gets out of there after screwing up some mining time. Very nice play. 
See Chanks moving out right now. Swapping add-ons here. See Chanks, of course, micro properly. Pretty good against Marines. Oh, yeah. You can actually kite them pretty well. Kite them all day long. Oh, he's trying to set oh, that there. Bad move right there. Bad, bad move. And I, I don't know, man. That was just not that smart. Just get targeted on that medevac. And now his army size is just so depleted. If he had just tried to go up the ramp with that instead of tried to be a cutesy wootsy. Yeah, that was some. He was trying to be like a little cutie pie. Enough man, of this Harlem Globetrotter stuff. I you know, know. Like, just you have more units. Go up the ramp, man. Like it's gonna have to drop an auto turret, which is something you definitely wanted to use energy on as opposed to point defense drone when it really matters. Point defense drone is actually such an insane it's ability. It's so awesome it's, because like yeah. you can actually, for instance, a Terran versus Terran, a technique um, that I love is you just. If you see a bunch of siege tanks uh, with marauders guarding it, which is a common sight in TBT, you just actually go for a, a point defense zone, drop that, mm -hmm. and that absorbs all the marauder shots. Then you stim, run in with your marauders, kill all their tanks, and then run in with yeah. your tanks and win. It's it's wild. Uh, you know, I have to point out for StarCraft One players, point defense drone. They gave Dark Swarm to Terran, but it only works one way. What? <laughs> yeah, and the Defiler flies. What's up with that? <laughs> Thank God it can't eat Marines yet. I'm sure that'll be an expansion pack. <laughs> All right. So enough of my shenanigans. <laughs> we see uh, Barrett, expansions going up. Let's interrupt now. Um, so, so far, with our two players, August has had very good defense. Look at how much better this Observian's got. It has gotten so much better taste. Thank you for working hard on that. I try my best. The Banshee is out. But this is bad. Uh, range on that Viking is so good. If can you can he save it with the Marines. Marines, save it. Cover me. <laughs> Cover me. Is that Co the Banshee voice? Cover me. <laughs> Need some backup. Drop over here. Tank drop on the ledge with the floating barracks. Nice move right there. Killing one Sea Shank. Other oh, taking a lot of damage from Splash, but not in range. Better pick that up, but not by right clicking the tank on the drop. <laughs> yeah, I also walk right into that. Yeah, gotta be careful. Picks up that seed chain. Wow. Talk about a healthy looking economy over here. Yeah, yeah. You know, Live Forever once again showing that he is much quicker, much more aggressive about getting his economy going than August Wera. Even though August Wera is a lot of good moves, and, you know, it, again, it kind of flashes back to what I've mentioned a few times. The overall riding, you know, strategical analysis of the Wera clan is that they like to do a lot of one base stuff. You know, they like to micro harder and you know, use tactics a little bit more. And he kind of shows that. And that Raven just did a barrel roll. Damn. Science Vessels couldn't do that, man. It's a crazy Raven pilot. He's going to slip in there past this. What? The Viking, oh what is he doing? My. Oh, no. Drop over here. But I don't even know <laughs> what the utility of having a Marine drop at this phase of the game is. Yeah, it looks like oh he might no. lose this. He's got to drop those Marines off if he doesn't want to lose it. But it looks like he's just going to lose it anyways. Ouch. Wow. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> kind of weird there, but I don't know why he did that. Honestly, I really don't know why he did that. August Ware right now going up to that second base and getting a lot of product. Oh, wait a minute. Hold, Hold that, that thought. thought. It's wow. like we finished each other's sentences at the exact, exact same, same time. time. Uh, we are now stimming. Nice point defense on there. Nice very nice point defense throw. He's sieging up. Getting ready. He should dash forward and try to get that tank. He has CDs. The tank lives, but the Marauders can clean up these tanks so easily. Wait a minute. Whoa. That doesn't stop Marauder attacks. Okay. That's weird. Stops all my Zerg attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, that's that's interesting. Even though it does shoot concussive grenades. Here we go. Once again, stopping the Viking shots here. Point defense run up. Uh, live forever, continue to drop very aggressively. And wow. He's actually doing a lot more damage than I thought he would these drops. And with so many Marauders just constantly popping out, I don't even know if this is the greatest idea to continue these, even though it seems like they're working. 
This is like StarCraft 1 on Lost Temple these positions. You just keep dropping your opponent. Yeah, and then up and you get that position. You know what? It might actually work or he does yeah. a nice stim. August Wera in August a lot of trouble Wera. now. Very impressive drops here by Lim Forever. He's killing so many units with these stim marauders and sea chank drops. He's got the edge, especially with that medevac in there to he's heal. He's reloading. As you can see, not using all the dropships, but he's yeah. very heavily focused. And August Wera taps out, it was just too much pressure. Wow. Wow. You know, I didn't think it was going to No, I didn't succeed, think it was going to. It just, just kind of snowballed bad. suddenly. Yeah, so he's like, wait a minute. You know, there's a situation, obviously you know this, but um, where if you just get enough units outside the main production buildings, mm. like if a Protoss recalls. Out just gets yeah, yeah if you have a Protoss recalls over the factories and the Terran units can't get there in time, everything that comes out just dies instantly. Yeah. And yeah, that's it, kind of the situation no we saw there. You micro or anything. And, uh,. Pretty impressed with that. I'm uh, impressed. Apparently, not only did uh, oh, we think that um, Marauder shells were stopped by that, but he was throwing out point defense drones against Marauders, so he thought so I too. Thought so point so actually, us, okay? I thought point no, I thought point defense drones like stopped Marauder shots. And, and I thought they stopped anything you could like see come out. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not maybe stuff that just it. appears on the target, but stuff you can see. I thought that was like the overall rule, but we are either you know, it doesn't stop either everybody either, home so. is confused or we're being crucified on the internet right now. Well, this guy thought so too, and I don't play Terran. It's your fault, Jesus. Just crucify them. Yeah. No, please, guys. <laughs> we're only human. Um, even we can make mistakes. Even we make mistakes. No, we can't. No, no. no. We just want to look human. Mm. Um, <laughs> oh, there you go. Where's um? Well, we're going to be having an interview oh, do with I, him my, momentarily uh, she, here. Okay, yeah, we're going to do. Um, we are going to cut to a break here in a minute. So we hope you ask good questions. Forever. Don't forget, ask good questions. GomTV.net forums. Check them out. Check them out. Uh, throw down some questions, and I interview players afterwards. So he does. You do a magnificent job with well, that. Thank you, Tasteless. I do my best. Um, so in just a second here, we're going to cut this out, um, and we're happy with your game today. That, man. Is and Maka versus Juke Tujung. Juke Tujung actually showed us a lot of interesting Zerg play. No one really knew much about him, but here we go. Here we go. Get ready for the next. We'll be right back.